Hey guys, today I'm going to be recording an introduction to binary numbers. The concept of binary numbers can seem pretty difficult at first, but don't worry, I'll explain it in a really simple way. So let's get started. Before I can talk about what binary numbers are, I have to explain what decimal numbers are. Decimal numbers are what me and you use on a day-to-day -day basis. They're the numbers 0 to 9. The decimal value system is also referred to as base 10 because we have 10 unique digits to span all the numbers in decimal. It's also called base 10 because of the place value system that I'm going to explain right now. So as I was saying, in the decimal value system, we have nine unique digits we can use to represent all the numbers. So what happens if we need a number more than nine? If we're adding nine and one, we understand that we have to carry the one over to the tens place. Also, when we're adding the number seven and five, we know that the two really just means two ones, and the one just represents one tens. So if we're looking at a bigger number, like 8,539, we can break it down to 9 times 10 to the power of 0, 3 times 10 to the power of 1, and so forth and so on, with each place value being multiplied by 10 to the power of something. Now, if we take this and we add all of it together, we get the original number, 8,539. I, I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. But let's keep going. So here's just that same example but with a smaller number. The number 27 can really just be expressed as 2 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 7 times 10 to the power of 0. So now I can finally start talking about what binary numbers are. So unlike decimal, binary only has two digits that we can use to span all the numbers, 1 and 2, and because of this it's called base 2. And you're also going to see why it's called base 2 when we look at its own place value system in a bit. So firstly, let's talk about the anatomy of a binary number. One binary number, so a 1 or a 0, is referred to as a bit. Eight binary numbers is called a byte, and half of a byte, so four digits, is called a nibble. When we're writing out binary numbers, usually we put a space in between each nibble just so that it's easier for us to read. So here I have an example of a binary number. 1010 zero, one, zero, and underneath I have its place value system. So because binary is base 2 and not base 10, each digit is going to be multiplied by 2 times 10 to the power of something. So let's do that with this number. So 0 times 2 to the power of 0, 1 times 2 to the power of 1, 0 times 2 to the power of 2, and 1 times 2 to the power of 3. So if we add them all up like we did with previous examples, we can see that we get the number 10 because 1 times 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 0 times anything is always going to be 0. 1 times 2 to the power of 1 is 2. We add that all up and we get 10. So that just means that the number 1010 is the number 10 in decimal. So that's how you can take a binary number and convert it over to decimal. So now let's look at this example, which is the number 11011. So again, I have the place value system underneath, and we're going to add it all together like we did with previous examples. So 1 times 2 to the power of 4, 1 times 2 to the power of 3, 1 times 2 to the power of 1, and 1 times 2 to the power of 0. And if you can notice, I didn't, I just omitted the, one, the 0 times 2 to the power of stuff just because it's always going to be 0. So we add it all together and we get the number 27. So that just means that 11011 is another way of expressing the number 27. Now here's just some additional facts about binary numbers real quick. They're also referred to as high and low and on and off, with 1 being high and on and 0 being low and off. And they're most commonly used in computers to make decisions. So that was my quick introduction to binary numbers. If you want to see more about this topic, please let me know. I'm hoping to make some videos on binary math in the future. If this helps you in any ways, please subscribe and also leave a like and comment down what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!